the owner type Jeep is a non-extended, non-commercial variant of the Philippine Jeepney, which themselves were refurbished U.S. military release Jeep from World War II. I built this 1-64th scale model from scratch back in 2019. And aside from these still shots, I wasn't able to document the complete build process. So I decided to build a new and improved version so that I can share how it's made from start to finish. First I brought out drawings I made from the previous build and used it to make cutout templates made out of recycled boards. I then traced these over scrap 1mm thick illustration boards. These were then cut to form the parts. I started assembling what will become the chassis using CA glue to hold everything in place. Once that's completed, I moved on to construct the floor panel. Time to test fit these parts. I'm using road wheels salvaged from my son's broken die-cast toys. Everything fits together nicely. Next, I cut out the body parts, the side panels and the wheelhouse panels. I attach the side panels to the floor panel, glue the back plate to secure the two halves. Now for the wheelhouse. Each side is made out of three lap pieces and acts as support for the side panels. The tailgate is then glued on to the panel. Time to install the front grill along with the wheel guards and fenders. The engine compartment is now complete. Now to finish off the wheel guards. I plan to add lights to this model so I cut two pieces of enamel copper wires and slid them through holes in the engine compartment. These were then secured with this strip where the gear shifter will be. Install this front plate that includes the put pedals. Then finally the top cowl along with the dashboard is glued in place. It's now time to apply a coat of white acrylic primer to all the exposed parts. I painted the chassis in red acrylic. This is how they look like after painting. I continued building the other parts like the front seats, steering wheel, and windscreen frame. I'm using a piece of acetate for the windscreen then secure it in place with the backing plate. After giving the parts a coat of quick drying chrome paint, it was time to do some detailing work. The rubber gaskets are painted in black. The seats in dark gray. Everything is hand painted, including the front grille. Here are the parts before and after painting. Now for the headlights, I'm using hot glue applied behind the holes and allowed to bulge to the front. This looks convincing, I think. A strip of thin black card is glued on to act as a cowl rubber seal. 
Now for the lights. I'm using surface mount LEDs. I salvage from old broken LED bulbs. I solder these together in parallel, then wire them up to the body to be later soldered. I place the LEDs directly behind each headlight hole, then secure them with more hot glue, making sure everything is tucked in neatly. I can now cover everything up with the bonnet. Next, I install the front seats, steering wheel, and back seat. I then install the completed windshield frame to complete the body assembly. This is an RF choke I salvaged from a broken CFL lamp. I tuck these behind the front seats. Soldering them to the LED wires will allow me to power them up wirelessly. Now for the top tarp, I'm using the same card material used for the templates. I folded and glued it into shape, then added the side windows. After applying a coat of dark primer, I covered the exposed parts with two coats of black paint. Detailing is done with a fine tip brush. Button details were applied using a toothpick. Again, I use transparent plastic for the clear parts. For the top frame, I'm using steel wires bent to shape. Here's the top fully assembled. The front and rear bumpers are made from bent aluminum cut out from soda cans. The gear lever is a piece I got from old jewelry. It's now time to assemble everything and add in the finishing touches. And with that, this model is finally complete. There is one last thing to do. Thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Keep safe and see you again next time.